Hello. Welcome again. We're going to uh, be working on the letter I using a one point perspective. But before we start, I just want to remind you that I need your um, support just to let you know how difficult it is to stay on YouTube. Uh, we have 1.9 billion users using YouTube. We have 500 hours of videos uploaded every minute and there's 1 billion hours of YouTube videos viewed every day. And 70% of YouTube videos aren't, are on the mobile devices. And I need 1,000 subscribers and 400 watch hours to be considered an official YouTuber. I'm a retired art teacher and I would really love your support. Uh, again, I try to uh, have videos that teach, not just me doing the work. And I would really would love, all you have to do is just push the subscribe button, the like, comment, and share. Share your videos with someone else, send it to someone else. So we need all this. Uh, YouTube uh, takes into consideration all of this uh, for us tubers. Now I understand. I've been learning a lot. YouTube is a very good platform where we can learn a lot. Well, before we get started, uh, I want to show you some of the works that I've done, other videos that I have. I have done a one-point perspective. Okay. This one-point perspective. is so that we can get an idea let me adjust this uh, lens here for all of us to see um, is to get an idea as to how to draw uh, things in perspective in proportion okay so that's a one-point perspective we have another video on a two-point perspective I've done a video on a simple color scale. We've done studies on values. Now for those of you that have viewed my work, um, I'd start out with this and it's kind of a redundancy for those of you that are familiar, but remember we have over a billion films you know that are watched and you probably won't see this is the letter A in a one point perspective and I try to use color schemes at the same time with intensities, shades, uh, tints and so on uh, here's a letter B with a one point perspective though all of this are a one point perspective here's a letter C the letter D and also all of these are teaching techniques, teaching lessons, instead of me just doing them. Here is E, letter F. Then I did a uh, Valentine's card for you guys. And here we're using the grid technique where you use measurements and eventually it helps you in, uh, in learning to draw eventually your brain becomes the measuring and I've done the the picture the actual size here and then double the size like a projector here okay it's just a sketch a study and then I did the buffalo same same technique same procedure the uh, grid technique this here is the same size as this double the size okay then uh, did a acrylic I did a Superman study that's a uh, here's the first study for, to do this one here this is all watercolor. This is watercolor and color, pen color pencil with marker. 
and this is Superman trying to break an egg if you remember your physics class if you take the egg and you try to break it vertically like this it won't break as easily or it won't break but you flip it around uh, like this it will break instead of like this okay so again they're just studies and then I have the letter H I did a lesson on how to label assignments for those of us that are in the teaching field like I used to be that will help you in uh, having better um, lessons and and keeping track of your grades and students and so on then I did a three-point perspective okay this is a three-point perspective using watercolors and my late my last one that I just finished doing was a watercolor okay and today I'm going to work with the letter I now I know that nowadays the uh, time span of, of us and because of the time uh, we want things like microwave very quickly but again minor lessons where you can um, if you're interested learn follow some of the steps and you change your measurements this is going to be the diagram for the letter I so what I've done is I've gone from the edge of the paper in 10 centimeters you can do anything any measurements you want I'm using the centimeters it's easier and then I went five and five spaces this is a framing for my letters the horizontals positive and negatives and then my verticals and five because every letter has a side uh, either um, left or right uh, a middle vertically some of them have and some of them have the top middle horizontal and bottom and then the negative spaces if you were to change the measurements on this your style of letter will change so I'm keeping it simple it's a block letter here that we'll be using and uh, we're gonna go in a little closer try to frame it in there for us just be patient please a little bit there we go okay and and then I just have a frame around it our vanishing point is going to be at the bottom corner of our paper for all these letters that we're gonna do okay then you can and again this can be buildings can be anything that you would like and the idea the objective behind learning the perspective is so that we know and understand a little on how objects are affected by the by the vanishing point so you have your upper uh, bird's eye view you have your hor horizon view or, and then you have your worms eye view and your vanishing points can be anywhere on your paper so what I'm going to do from here on is I would like again to remind you to please subscribe. I need it. I mean, I'm being honest. I need your subscriptions. I think I, I just started. Um, I did retired on this in December, and I just started learning about YouTube and all these things, uh, and running the programs and the editing and the title pages and all those things. So I need your subscriptions. I need your likes. And it's very simple on your on your phone all you have to do is push the like button push the like button here okay the share you can share your videos and there's someone that you think might might learn from it or enjoy it and also you subscribe and if you hit this little symbol here the L symbol right now I don't have any logos or pictures on it it's just the L if you click on it it takes you to my the channel that I have and here you can see all the films you know that uh, I have done and again there's a billion or something films uh, in YouTube so it's not going to be easy to find me but I would recommend that you go to um, 
the uh, the listing and the channels and try to find me and I appreciate your support okay so let's get started from here on I'm giving you the measurements these are going to be um, one centimeter the measurements can be anything you want if you are more comfortable with inches using the standard measurement or the metric it's up to you you can change the measurements I'm keeping it simple just by using the centimeters and in my case again is uh, uh, from here I'm using five centimeters five centimeters for the letter height and width and then five centimeters of negative space around it move that managing point at the corner of the paper bottom okay so uh, you can change it yourselves I'm gonna use colors I'm gonna outline and so on so from here on uh, you're not going to hear me but again I really 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 would like for you to help me with subscriptions likes comments and shares okay so from here on it's going to be uh, time lapse so it's gonna go a little quicker and um, you can always pause forward go back and so on and thank you and here we go okay 